thank you for being you. Thank you for being a part of this community. And that's the first thing I have to say in this video, which is the last video from 2016, which was a fantastic year. This video is a little bit of a celebration for all the great things that we've accomplished this year. We've grown so much, we've grown exponentially. And you guys that have been around for a while, and you remember back in 2015, even 2014, we had only a handful of people here. And now we're more than 60,000, which is a fantastic achievement. And one big reason why I'm proud of this so much is that this was achieved with no clickbait. This was achieved with no drama. This was achieved with no gimmicky promises or magic pills or any other BS marketers use out there to scam people that they can achieve this grandiose physique in a couple of weeks or that they can become successful in a month or they can build a business that is going to conquer the world in a couple of months. We know that this doesn't work like that. And that's why I'm so proud about this community that it just recognizes the true values. It recognizes values such as patience, values such as being a producer, not just a consumer. There's plenty of consumers in the world. There's plenty of instant gratification out there to entertain yourself uh, day in, day out. And you're probably watching this video right now on your phone. There's notifications coming out. There's probably tabs open in your browser with Facebook, with Twitter, with Gmail, whatever other thing is. And there's always going to be Instagram gratification there. And most people will choose to be entertained rather than choose to work hard on themselves and live the life to the fullest. Most people will rather be entertained. And that's why I'm proud of this community so much because you guys know that Videos aren't meant to, these at least videos are not meant to just give you those dopamine hits, quick edits, clickbait drama and drag you into some kind of uh, low value uh, information that has nothing to do with reality. It's more, how do you become the best human that you can be? And that's what is the goal of this channel. That was the vision to begin with is how do you walk through life and live that life to the fullest? How do you be so proud of yourself that you can tell yourself at any point in your life, I have no regrets for doing the stuff that I've done. I've taken risks, I've failed, I've done all this random stuff that I probably would have never imagined, but I have no regrets of any of that because I've truly been able to do the best I can. And that's the goal of this channel. That's the goal of being here. It's not just about the abs. It's not just about getting the damn six pack or having that lean Hollywood physique. That is all going to fade away. And that is all temporary. Everything is temporary. I mean, of course, it's a fantastic and I love it. And I love being able to walk around and take off your shirt and be like, what the hell, you know, what is this guy's like, Photoshop made out of a movie or like whatever. But it, it doesn't, that doesn't really make you that person, it doesn't make you that fulfilled person that is really living the life to the fullest. And that's one thing that I want to point out here first off is I want to thank all of you guys for all the support and um, to, for truly being a part of this vision, for having that belief, to so saying no to that damn instant gratification that we're, it's so easy to get to that. I mean, you don't even have to wait next week for a TV show. You can just binge watch and download all of it. You don't have to wait for anything. You can just get it right now. You don't have to go out and meet anybody. You can just get it on Tinder. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to put in the effort for a lot of things in your life. You can just get that validation and you can just say, hey, I want to get shredded on your Facebook wall as a status update. You're going to get so much validation that you don't even have to go to the gym anymore because you got those dopamine hits that, you, that people just sent to you and you feel like you've already done something while in reality that whole journey that takes so much patience and work and effort and sacrifice and dedication has not, not even started yet. And that's the world we live in today. And I truly believe that all of you guys, I mean, up until this point, if you're watching the video, you recognize that. You recognize that brainwashing that we're really exposed to. And unfortunately, it is, that's the world we live in today. Uh, among other things, this is fantastic as well. I mean, I'm, I'm totally up for social media and connecting everybody. And then I see all the value of this, but I also see the potential downfalls that a lot of people don't recognize. And without going into too much of a tangent there, again, I want to thank all of you for the support, for being a part of this community, for sharing the videos with your friends and for really impacting the world and making the world a better place by just taking action on this advice, taking action on things like 
and re removing your Facebook news feed so you don't get all that crap from, from the news, for taking action, going to the gym, improving your life, losing weight, inspiring other people around you to do the same. And that is truly your achievement and I'm glad to be a part of your journey and I'm glad that you are part of my journey as well, which is that we all have our own journeys in all areas of our lives. And one thing that I wanna leave you guys with and one tip for making 2017 the best year yet, and that's how it should be. Every year should be the best year yet. And I mean, the tip, it kind of builds upon the idea that you can wake up tomorrow to be the next Elon Musk. People don't realize this. People don't realize that every single day you're reborn. Every single day there's a new opportunity for you to really express a new self, a new identity, whoever you wanna be, whoever you wanna become, whoever you envision yourself to be. And that's one thing that is, a, that is very powerful about being a human being because you can instantly change here, even though materialistically or in the outside world, that might have not yet happened, that might have not yet appeared because it takes time for that to appear in the other world, but here you can change and in five years from now, you will materialize all that thing that was a vision right here. And that's a powerful statement. That's a powerful way of looking at it. And that builds it and leads into the piece of advice that I have for you guys is design your perfect day. Have a vision for what your perfect 24 hours would look like. Plan it hour by hour exactly when, where, and what is going to happen. When I'm gonna go to bed, when I'm gonna wake up, when I'm gonna go to the gym, with who, where, what am I gonna do there? Know exactly when your work is going to happen, when you're gonna go socialize, when you're gonna engage in just activities that you find fun, flow state, whatever you find interesting in life. Have a plan for a perfect day. What would that perfect day look like? And then all you need to do is just make sure that you're living your life in your next 24 hours as close to that perfect day as possible. It's as simple as that. It's not just about having some grandiose goal and I, I truly believe in big goals. I, I love thinking big and massive and having a huge vision, but what use does that vision have if you're not mastering the process, if you're not mastering your 24 hours, which is the time and the day and, and truly where you have the most impact on the next 24 hours, something you can do exactly tomorrow. And that's what I think a lot of get, guys get caught up in and get overwhelmed a little bit with uh, self-development and reading a lot of advice out there. It, it gives you so much information that you don't know where the hell to start. You don't know what to do because there's so much. There's setting goals, breaking it down into monthly, weekly, having a blueprint for everything and having, a, uh, having something that is gonna happen 10 months from now, and it's really hard to kind of envision that because it's so far, and unfortunately, our human brains will always value something that is kind of ahead of, just right in front of us, something that is right then and there, something, whether it's pain or pleasure, but something that is instant or something that is really in that close future, that is gonna, that's what the brain is gonna value. That's why we're in this instant gratification trap in the first place, because we value instant pleasure more than delayed pleasure. And you can use this for your advantage by understanding how your psychology works by focusing on the next 24 hours. Because you're gonna be waking up tomorrow, you're gonna be reborn. You can do whatever the hell you want that day. You have the power. It doesn't matter if you think that, uh, let's say, you don't have the goal for now and you feel bad about that. Don't worry about it so much. Have a goal, have some kind of vague idea where you're gonna go in the future, but focus on the 24 hours. Because let me tell you one thing, if you focus on the process, if, the, if it's the right process, if you have the right process in place, you will get to the goal anyway. Do you think the guy that is exercising every day and focusing on being best in that single workout isn't going to improve his squat half a year down the line? Of course he will, because he is doing exactly now what is eventually going to lead to that goal, even though he doesn't really think about that goal that much. He knows that he needs to have his attention in the current, in the present moment, in the current workout, because if he keeps thinking about that future goal, he's not gonna be able to give his best effort right now when it really counts. His future isn't guaranteed. And the past, I mean, you can't change it. So why not just focus on what you can do right now? And that's my kind of final piece that I wanna leave you guys with here is design that perfect day, know where that day is. And it doesn't need to be every day like that. It's never going to be like that. You're never gonna be able to have those perfect days. And I know this is kind of a tendency which I usually fall into. If I design the perfect day, I'm gonna make every day the perfect day. And it can't be. 
it, it's impossible. We're, we have flaws. We're human beings. We, we cannot make every day the perfect day, but you can get as close to that as possible. And that's where it really lies. That's where uh, living that life enthusiastically with full of enthusiasm, waking up with motivation, waking up with no regrets is about giving the best you can that day. And if that best you can is two out of 10, sure, right? If the, day, if the perfect day is 10 out of 10, if the best you could do today was three out of 10, you've done all everything you could do. Nobody can judge you. And most importantly, you cannot judge yourself because now you've truly done everything that was in your power. And at that point, there's really nothing uh, else to do. And that's something I want to leave you with. And um, cheers to living a life with uh, no regrets and uh, making 2017 the best year yet. So thank you again for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, and share in the comments below. Uh, what's your biggest focus for the next year? Just uh, let me know in the comments below. What is the single uh, area of your life that you will give the most focus to in 2017? And as I said, make sure to post that there. Thank you for all the support. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to be a part of this awesome community of people. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.